Okay, see Lindelof videos. Loading documents and images to your TI Inspire CAS calculator also works with the CX, um, TI Inspire CX. This is actually a pretty easy process, just has a bunch of steps to it. So uh, maybe you can take notes, but I'll tell you just to start off, we're going to open our software. If you don't have the software, you can get it at education.ti.com. You can use the product number on the back of your calculator, and if you if that doesn't work, you can call 1-800-TI-CARES and give them your serial number, and they'll give you access to that software. It's really important to have. It's actually really, uh, it's really excellent software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the, an image onto this software, and then I'm going to transfer it from this software onto my handheld calculator. So this is what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is. I, is I'm going to go to the internet and what I thought I would, would be good is if I was taking the AP Cal exam that I would want to know the properties some of the properties of trig of uh, trig functions so I already searched that and I got to here and I'm looking for the stuff that I want like if you wanted to you could get you could capture this whole document but me I'm trying to be a little bit more specific so what I thought I really wanted was these formulas right here so I'm just going to go to my snipping tool and if you go to any calculator, it has this snipping tool. Uh, so I'm going to go to new here. And all I'm going to do is go to the pieces that I want. So the pieces that I want are these identities right here. So I'm just going to capture them all the way down. I don't need double angle formulas, I don't think. Anyway, so here I've captured those things that I wanted. So this is important. I'm going to go to file and save as. So file, save as. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I name this thing. I'm going to name this uh, Trig Props. You're going to see later I have a bunch of stuff saved already, yeah, including that cute little puppy. I don't want to talk about it. Um, so this is super important. When you save this, you have options to how you're going to save it. The, uh, the TI Inspire software will only convert certain files and the one that's easiest is a PNG so you don't want to you don't want HTML you don't want a PDF you don't want a Word doc you want it to be in PNF uh, I'm sorry PNG form and the other thing is I'm going to choose where I save it to and I'm going to save it to my teacher software here right uh, that software is the same as yours with just some other weird junk that goes with it so here it is saved right so that was kind of not very exciting, but I go back to my software. I'm going to actually see if I can erase all this junk. Can I get that thing? Oh, yeah, it does erase. I didn't think that came off. So I'm going to erase this because you need to be in notes. Normally what I would have done here is I would have gone to insert and I would have inserted notes, but notes is already open. And you can see it has this yellow lining on the top. It tells you that you're in notes. From here, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go down to image go to image it's gonna let me look at all these places look it automatically open this for me and that's why I saved it in in the um, in the software and I said that I was gonna name this uh, trig properties right so there it is all I do is double click it so it opens it right another really important part because right now this is in form of a PNG and this software will convert a PNG but it has to convert it to a TNS so I have it in PNG I'm gonna to go to file up here top left I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit, it's going to say save as, I'm going to save as. I'm going to name this, it says document one, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to name this trig props. Trig props, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save this. This becomes really important. So important step. So by doing this, PNG turns to TNS, right? Now we can do something that's more important. Uh, first thing I would do, this is already probably done, and it is. You can see that my my handheld is already hooked up. If it wasn't, right, go back so you can see this. If it wasn't, I would go over to here. It says Content Explorer. I open Content Explorer. <clears throat> Super important that you're asking your computer to look, you're asking the TI to look in your desktop because that's where that software is. And then I would choose this software down here, right? right here. I don't need to do it because I already have it, but if not, you would double click this and it would automatically pick this up. Normally speaking, if you hook your calculator with that many USB into the back of your calculator and USB into the side of your uh, computer, it, the software automatically picks it up. But in the case it didn't, this is how you would get there, right? From here, it gets even easier, frankly. I'm just going to go to transfer tool. So I'm in transfer tool. I'm going to add to the list, right? 
and there it sits trig props it automatically open it trig props right so check this out super important I have this covered I need to select it before I do that I'll make sure I have the correct file and you can see it it saved this to TNS there and you can also see that the file type it's going to my handheld right so select again I actually remade this video a second time because what's really important here is you have to make sure that your handheld is not only connected but it's turned on then I'm gonna hit start transfer right and it says it's gonna ask me a question on my handheld I'm sorry but I'm looking at my handheld right now and it says folder transfers and it says today's date and it names that document and it has the same name as this one right here and then it says okay you have to click okay before it will start doing a transfer I'm not gonna make you stay with me as I transfer this but I can see that it's transferring onto my uh, calculator right now so this is exactly how you do this if you have questions or comments uh, seriously let me know I think that this is the easiest method I've made these videos before but I went back and tried to perfect it and make it really doable remember don't try to download a PDF or a HTML or a Word doc because it's not gonna work you're not gonna be able to pull it into the document right so remember to save it as a PNG right and remember to go to insert and insert that image it gives you a chance to pick it up all right this is all very doable you can put any kind of document you want in there so if you open the PDF or you open some kind of word doc or whatever you can still use that snipping tool and you can just cover the image and ca capture it as an image that's what I'm doing right so again I hope it was helpful if you have questions or comments always let me know and if you haven't already subscribed please 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 do appreciate it